we lost the little ones in our group and they have started practicing it before the pandemic and the fact that they're stepping forward, getting over a little bit of being shy and coming out in our practices that we have in dancing, it is so beautiful to see that next generation. All the dance groups having so many young ones. It's so beautiful to see. I know it's been a challenge, it's been a challenge for us, but the beauty of what I saw yesterday with all the dance groups and even my wet uh, chief Ian Campbell talking about their little one and being kind with their teachings. That is so beautiful. I know some of us have grown up with very harsh and rough teachings and we've chosen not to teach that way, not to teach our young ones. So it's so beautiful that we're decolonizing our teaching of our culture by being kind. This is such a dance to do that. You're gonna see our family, and I'm really grateful that we have so many of our Amalite dancers here today, including my wagon. While Axe here, who traveled down from the NAS, he's been a long time member, it's beautiful to have him dancing with us. I missed his soul and his spirit. We were joking and talking about how we can get inappropriate behind stage. Uh, with our jokes. It's really beautiful to have my dear friend here today to be dancing with us as a family. So we're going to be dancing to honor our leaders. We're dancing for the Get Down Muhammad, the people of the Down Muhammad. This is our headdress dance to honor you.
So I was like, you heard, you heard Auntie Mary, she's telling everybody to stay on the stage. So my dancer said, okay, we're listening to Auntie Mary. So this next song is one of my favorite cultural heroes. His name is Tamsin. But his favorite form is that of the Raven. And the Raven is a trickster. He's a shapeshifter. He loves to tease us. But because we have to stay on the stage, you have to imagine he's teasing you guys, okay? Normally people have to hold on to their purses, and I see you grabbing your purse already. We can't come out to the audience, so you're in luck today. She's all happy. She's like, oh, thank God. Yeah, so just imagine that our ravens are coming out and touching you and being a part of you. Oh my goodness, look who's here. How you doing, sir? Fellow Indian Gulen. Hello, Mr. Gulen. Good to see you, Samagat. Where's your lovely wife? She's back to all way, but look at You thought I was going to call you forward, huh? Well, it's good to see you all. Listen to that raven get bossy. This is our raven dance. So 
I've been singing this song all my life. I sang it, I uh, served 10 years as a U.S. Army Airborne Ranger. I had four tours, and I sang this song every day I was away from home, and it got me home. We sing this song to bring strength to all of you. We've had a long two years. We've lost relatives, and I'm sure you have as well. And we ask the Creator to continue to give you strength, to give you blessings, to give you in those next ones. I know my brother is expecting, I know him and his wife are expecting their baby. I'm excited for you guys. There's so many babies that are coming to the world. I, we sing this dance for them so that they're born strong. And for all of you who made it through this pandemic, we sing this strong for continued strength to all of you. This is our room. I'm excited to share as 
sing this song that normally we call our Dakapon relatives to come sing with us. But if you're out in the audience, please feel free to stand up and sing with us. I love you guys. I love all the dancers that have shared here today. It's been, and yesterday, it's been so emotional. It's been hard not to. We're all crying behind stage and lifting each other up. It's beautiful that we're all here for each other, giving us strength. I really raised my hands off to, to, to raise my hands and take my hat off to Andy and Margaret and their beautiful family, the Dun Muhammad, for the beautiful work they've done to create this festival, to lift us all up, to bring us out of the darkness, to bring us out of this time of sadness. My uncle Woody didn't make it through COVID. Talk to, talk to me, he and I would talk about this, and he talked about it's okay to go into seclusion. It's okay to gather your power back. So that's what I see in the last two years, us getting our power back so that we can come back stronger. That we're coming back more fierce, more dangerous, more strong, but also kinder. So I raise my hands to all of you. This is our victory.